Hey everybody, Stevie J here with your UFC 147 weigh-ins recap. I'm going to apologize in advance if I mispronounce any of these names because there are a lot of Brazilians on this card. And I'm also going to apologize because the UFC cut the feed on Fuel TV during one of these weigh-ins. So all we know about one of these guys is that he made weight and not what his actual weight was. But nevertheless, let's get right into it. Here's all of the fights from the start to the finish. Felipe Arantes versus Milton Vieira. 146 for Vieira and 146 for Arantes. Incidentally, for most of these undercard guys and a lot of the guys on the main card, I'm not going to have photos of them because there just aren't public domain photos available. So again, sorry about that. Second up, Marcos Vinicius versus Wagner Campos in a featherweight bout. Vinicius made 146 and Campos made 145. Tiago Perpetuo versus Leonardo Mafra, 182 for Mafra. He came in well under middleweight. And Perpetuo got a really big pop when he came up to the stage. He weighed in at 184 and got another pop as he got off the scale. John Teixeira versus Hugo Viana. 145 for Hugo. But Teixeira had a big problem here. He came in at 150. He's got two hours to cut four pounds to make the 146 limit for featherweight. Delson Heleno versus Francisco Trinaldo. 183 for Trinaldo and 185 even for Delson Heleno. The final fight on FX, Anastavio Medeiros versus Rodrigo Dom. Dom came up first and made 146. Medeiros got another huge reaction from the crowd. They clearly had some favorites going into tonight's card, and he made 146. Then when the two fighters went to confront each other for photos, it turned into a big-time shoving match, and they had to be separated at least twice before they started the fight a day early. The first pay-per-view bout of UFC 147 is Yuri Alcantara versus Hakran Diaz. Diaz makes 146, and so does Alcantara, and then they shake hands and pose for photos. Fabricio Verdun versus Mike Russo. Russo comes out first, and even though I can't translate what they were saying in Portuguese to him, it was pretty loud, and I suspect it was something like, Die, Russo, die. He made 248. Verdun got a big pop, and he came out just soaking in the love from the crowd, and they were chanting Verdum, Verdum, so loud. You could hear it over the loud rock music there in the Belo Horizonte. He made 246. His smile when he stepped off the scale said it all. Here's the one where things went awry. Godofredo Pepe versus Honey Jason. Jason came out wearing his Friday the 13th mask, which some of you may have seen on Tough Brazil if you've been watching it on Fuel TV. He's 11-3 overall. He made 146. The video froze as he was weighing in, but we could still hear the audio. So I thought they were just going to leave it on so we could hear the weight of his opponent. But they cut back to Jay Glazer and Rashad Evans, who did some meaningless banter back and forth for 30 or 40 seconds, then told us that Pepe made weight, but not what his weight was, and threw it back to Brazil. When we got back to Brazil... Sergio Moraes was already on the stage and weighing in. He made 185 for his middleweight bout, and his opponent, Cesar Feria, made 184. Finally, in our main event of the evening, Rich Ace Franklin taking on Vanderlei the Axe Murderer Silva. 190 for Franklin and 188 for Silva. They both made the catchweight limit of 190 pounds. They gave each other mean mugs as they posed and shook their heads at each other. Then Franklin was interviewed by Joe Rogan, and they translated for him. Silva, on the other hand, needed no translator and just smiled and soaked up the love from the crowd as he cut his promo in Portuguese. So the translator converted it to English for those of us watching in the United States, and what he said was basically, he's looking forward to winning tomorrow night for Brazil. That's it for your UFC 147 weigh-in results. I'm Stevie J.